Well, what do you know? So, I'm here with Sue Cook, director of the current play, on a very squeaky chair. Did you hear that? You're not going to be able to move. <laughs> <laughs> um, Baskerville. Baskerville. Not the Hounds of Baskerville, although it is the Hounds of Baskerville. It is the story of the Hound of the Baskervilles, yes. So why is it, uh, what's the difference, what's so great about this play? This play, although tells the actual story of the Hound of the Baskervilles, it is told in such a way that it highlights the theatricality of telling the story. So um, we have five actors that play 37 characters. 37 characters with five actors, I tell you. <laughs> they are moving. Like it, this, this play is a fast show. Mm. And it is also a comedy. And that is something that is not associated with Sherlock Holmes, uh, but it is quite funny. And uh, people have called it a cross between Saturday Night Live and Monty Python. <laughs> so, if you're the type to shake your head at Monty Python, you'll love shaking your head at this one. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> uh, so, why... Cut. Uh, what's so special about this particular take? Like. Why did you want to do this, and what have you done differently? I always like a challenge, and um, this play uh, was difficult to start with, in the sense you have five people playing multiple characters. The scenes change very, very quickly, and they change multiple areas of the country. You're in Baskerville Hall, you're you know in the Moors, you're in the city of London, you're you know at a train station. So. The, the play is very fast moving. Um, it requires a lot of concentration and a lot of organization. From On the, the audience part? Oh, from the actors. From part. the actors. Uh, the audience maybe too. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so you can imagine with 37 characters, you need 37 costumes. And sometimes they're going back and forth between costumes sometimes on stage because they don't have enough time to change in the wings. So you're watching actors transform right before your eyes, which is really fun to do. A little Jekyll and Hyde. It could be. <laughs> <laughs> so, th so that's one thing that really captured my imagination. Um, so but going back a little bit to the uh, scene changes, yeah. um, how did you handle that? If there's so many scene changes, you know, it's not so easy to keep moving the set. Correct. So in this play... That was a setup for her to explain this. And it was a very good one, let me, let me add. <laughs> um, in this play, uh, unlike the other shows, I chose to add projections, as if the play wasn't difficult enough. Um, we added another element, and all of the sets are projected onto the stage. Um, so we are able to change locations in a heartbeat, and it, they are extremely impressive. We have never done a play with this level of technology and projections added. Projections. So what, and yeah. projectors? Yes, we have three projectors in order to uh, mount this production. Um, we also have a little, a few surprises on the set, which are, are kind of fun. Um, so I'll leave that to you. Um, but yes, we have three projectors, one on each side, one at the back screen. Um, sometimes they're not always projecting the same setting either. It could be they're projecting different settings at the same time. Mm. It's, uh, it is quite a unique show. Um, I think it, it's going to be quite funny. Um, and I think audiences are going to be in for a very different experience for Huronia players. Nice. In for a wild ride. Okay, I'll just... Okay. 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 I'll stay like this. Okay. It's kind of not too terribly awkward. <laughs> 